You can't really tell, but I sourced it out of Europe, so I think that's probably where it came from. Yeah, but, uh, yeah there you go. Okay. Or sweetheart, did you no. hear me? But uh, just think one, two, three, four. Now I'm talking to the real phone. Put my elbow up in the air. Hello, anybody there? Did you know? Did everybody know that? I, I'm going to disagree with that, Marcy, completely. <laughs> I um, wonder why. <laughs> At the very beginning, 50 years ago, when I conceived of the cell phone and, and we actually built one and made a phone call, I knew that someday everybody would have a cell phone. We joked that someday when you were born you'd be assigned a telephone number and if you didn't answer the phone you had died. So uh, it is gratifying to see that uh, prediction come to uh, uh, fruition. Uh, but on the other hand, it's my judgment that we're just starting. The, uh, the cellular industry is uh, uh, just learning how to do things uh, like uh, uh, revolutionize education, revolutionize healthcare, change the whole concept of collaboration. So this is just the beginning. These were primitive times. There was no internet in 1973, believe it or not. And there were no digital cameras. There were no large-scale integrated circuits. And so the unit that we built was put together with a, a massive number of individual parts. Uh, it weighed uh, over a kilo, almost two and a half pounds. It had a battery life of uh, 25 minutes of talking. Uh, the, the weight was not a problem, you understand because you couldn't hold it up to your head for more than uh, 20 minutes. So uh, these were uh, primitive times. And I'm not crazy about what the modern cell phone looks like. I think that the idea that you have to take a, a, a block of plastic like this and put it against your curved face and hold your hand up in an awkward position uh, doesn't make any sense to me. So uh, I think that we're just at the beginning of that, uh, that the cell phone is going to be distributed on your body at some point. It's going to be measuring uh, your uh, health. Uh, at, at all times, uh, and uh, looking for aberrations in, in that health. <laughs> My uh, most negative opinion is uh, we don't have any privacy anymore because everything about us is now recorded someplace and accessible to somebody 
uh, who is, uh, will, uh, has enough intense desire to get it. So uh, once again, we have to learn how to adopt that. Uh, somehow uh, our governments do have to uh, uh, decide what is there about us that they have to protect uh, as an example, your medical information. Uh, no one should have that except people that you want to have it. And that should be true with your financial information. We haven't figured out how to do all of those things yet. Uh, it is a real challenge, and it is the biggest challenge. Do you? Oh, is that so? so uh, I do uh, check my uh, email, my messages, uh, and uh, uh, when I get into an argument at dinner, I resolve that argument immediately because I've got the internet available to me. So I, I do use the phone for uh, all of those uh, purposes. And there are many things that I have not yet learned. I still don't know what TikTok is. And, uh, and there are a whole bunch of applications that I have not learned. Yeah. Martin told me earlier, Ben, that he can understand me. Yeah.